In this eye-opening video, we dive deep into the truth about electric vehicle sales in 2024. We break down the latest statistics and insights that every car enthusiastic and potential EV buyer should know. Discover what the future holds for electric vehicles, including the impact of government policies and the growing competition in the automotive industry. Whether you're considering making the switch from EV or simply want to stay informed on the latest developments in the automotive wor world, this video is a must watch. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more in-depth analyses and updates on electric vehicles and sustainability. <music> Greetings Titans, I'm Dave. This is Dave Takes It On. Well, if I had a pound for every time that I heard that EV sales have crashed and won't survive this because Germany sales figures are the worst forever, I could retire. But this is the first year when Germans will not get any subsidies towards their EVs. So of course EV sales are down there, but dead? Well, not according to the experts. I'm leaving links down below to the sources used for these data, but they include JD Powers, Experian, PwC, Wall Street and the European Union. All of them produce extremely detailed reports with factual data and future predictions. So what do they all say? Well, first, Germany is not the world, and the world scene is one of dramatic growth. 4,590,947 EVs were sold in the first half of 2024. That's up 12.4% on H1 2023. Oh, by the way, never look at a single day, week or month. Look long term. 36 world markets saw growth compared to last year and 16 saw a decline. Total market share worldwide was 12%, meaning one in every nine cars sold around the world were EVs. Not ICE, not hybrids or plug-in hybrids, pure BEVs. In the lead by far is China, with 54.6% of those total sales so far in 2024. And that means over 25% of all the cars on the road are now BEVs. Europe trans the USA with nearly a million new BVs so far, capturing 20.8% of the world market, a mere 1.6% growth on 2023, and every seventh car sold was a BV. USA took 13.1% of the market, showing a growth of 7.4%, and every 14th car sold was a BV. The rest of the world is where all the action is. They took just 11.5% of the world market in BVs so far this year, but that was a 40.1% growth on last year. It is looking like the rest of the world will soon overtake China. Our table provided by EV Universe shows solid growth across the world, with Germany and South Korea dragging the figures down. But Belgium took over with an impressive growth of 47.8% versus H1 2023. Nearly one in four cars sold were BEVs. In the UK, we've seen a 9.2% growth so far this year. 166 of all cars sold are BEVs. Well, in these figures, Europe includes the UK plus the EFTA, European Free Trade Association and the EU. Germany true drop is about 16.4% compared to this time last year. EVs have lost 3.26% in market share, down to 12.5%. It's interesting to note, if we exclude Germany's dismal figures, Europe would have seen a much healthier growth, about 7.1%, meaning 14.2% market share. Europe's best-selling EVs once again, a bit monotonous really, was Tesla Model Y, followed very closely by Tesla Model 3. This is a quite staggering run of success. Third place now, though, has been taken over by the up-and-coming Volvo EX30. All indications are that Europe is in between growth spurts, the decline of the initial rush of early adopters and expensive EVs, before the revival when the new breed of budget EVs reach our shores. All agree that is likely to see the market totally rejuvenated. America, always the land of oil, is reported to be lagging the world, but the figures are really very impressive. Sales so far, half, first half of this year, 
up 7.1% year on year, so a slowing of the growth rate, not a slowing of sales. California is like a country into itself with 32.2% of all US EV sales, and that's up from last year by just 1%. Every fifth car sold in California is a BEV. And no surprise for which BVs they're buying. Tesla Model Y, 198,030. Tesla Model 3, 73,552. And Ford Mustang Mach-E with a feeble 22,234 for what was once such a giant in the industry. But a cool thing about California, if you like cool, is that the Tesla Model Y was the best-selling car of any fuel with 69,810. Nearly double that of the next nearest, which was the Toyota RAV4. 36,160. How the mighty have fallen. No American legacy auto in the top three. Uh, one newcomer, a newcomer and one China, uh, Japanese. Locals may hate Elon, but they still love his cars. Looking further afield, we have Brazil with a crazy growth rate of 726.13% on H1 2023. And most of that supplied by BYD, who see this as their second home. They're nearing completion of the first factory there, which can make 150,000 EVs a year, which makes its 31,204 sales this year so far look sad. Turkey sold 35,600, uh, up 231% year on year. Uh, but they also grew 734% last year. Turkey make their own brand, the TOG, which it took first place, with the Tesla Model Y a long way behind in second. Well, Mexico also features heavily as the TOG of so many EV makers, including Tesla, BYD. Sales up 129.6%. That's a, having grown 168% for the whole of last year. Big decrease in sales in Norway, obviously. Is there anyone left there without an EV? But neighbour Denmark just grew 45.11% in 2024. Now it's heading towards an EV adoption of 50%. The table of not quite up to the mark is developing nicely with EV accounting for between 10 and 20% if the sales of the sales, meaning at least every 10th car sold, is electric. So the big picture is growth with just one country where sales did not increase, it was Norway. Not forgetting those that we've not already mentioned. Australia grows 16.5% despite a slight drop in EV market share. They had a cracking year last year. India up 25.8%. Japan, well, sales dropping 39%, but bottom of the pile appears to be New Zealand. They have sold a grand total of 2,213 this year so far, a drop of 74.6%. This is strange because they had a cracking 2023. So far, sales are just 10% of last year. Until you discover that the government scrapped the clean car discount and also introduced road user tax for BVs at about twice the rate that HEVs pay and 23% more than ICE cars pay. Well, for a bigger picture, if you could get one, uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers, the world's largest accountancy consultancy firm, has released their own report aimed at investors who do need accurate data. Their findings mirror the above, showing overall growth driven up by the launch of the new batch of budget EVs from Renault, Kia, Hyundai, Alfa Romeo, Honda, Honda and Vinfast. They confirm an almost zero growth in Europe, thanks to Germany, but strong growth elsewhere in the world. They also highlight that governments are being very ambivalent towards incentives and targets. Look at the rollback of the UK 2030 target to 2035, for example, the elimination of subsidies in Germany and what's happening in New Zealand. Well, several of them mentioned the outlook is uh, likely to include EV subscription models and robo-taxis, both of which could potentially change car ownership forever. That's as Oscar Wilde said, the reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Time will tell. In general, the EV market has seen a slowdown of growth rates, but that is very different to seeing a slowdown in sales. All new industries will experience staggering rates of growth in the early days, but generally settle down as the years go by. The big anomaly here is the huge impact one single company, Tesla, is having on the market. They've been a disruptive force in themselves for over the last 10 years, and new products and directions seem to indicate they're not stopping there. The supercharger network was a game changer and continues to lead the way, but at the other end of the spectrum, EV chargers CPOs 
starting to go bust at a rapid pace. Their bubble has well and truly burst. Over in America, ChargePoint CEO and ChargePoint CFO both sacked. EVgo is on the verge of going bust. Well, this is all going to be investigated in a separate video, so be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it. A lot of the UK figures this time have come from Experian, and most of you will be aware of Experian because they will have a hand in pretty much every financial decision that is made by you or about you. They are obviously uh, one of the big credit agencies and they have access to all the data regarding credit applications for loans, leases and any sort of finance for EVs right throughout the UK. They have a very comprehensive database and their figures have contributed towards this video. So when you hear people say, oh, Germany's sales have collapsed, EVs have finished, just ask them to have a look at a bigger picture, but also to use reputable sources before you come to your own conclusion. I've left the links down below for all of the sources I use for this video, so have a look at those reports yourself. They're free to download for most people. Um, some of them require subscription, uh, but largely they are free to download and they have a wealth of information in them, which is fantastic if you want to see where things are actually heading. So thanks for watching. I'm Dave.